right, so that's the first solo from Hotel California. So our first thing, we're sliding the middle finger up into the 11 on the G string. And then we're going 10 to 12 on the B string. You might pick that 12 because we're going to bend that 12 up a step and a half all the way to the sound of the 15th fret. See how it sounds the same as that? So after that big bend, we're going to go 10 to 12 on the B string to the 9 on the G string. So we got... Now we're going to go... So we're going to hit the 7 to 9 on the G, and then 7 on the B, 7 on the G, to the 8 on the D. And that's coming in with that F sharp chord. That's why it matches that. So. That's going to be 9 to 11, back to 9, to the 8. And he slides that one down. Then we're going to have... So we're going to have 7 to 9 on the G. And then that 7, 7. This time we're going to go 9, 8, 9. Kind of a pull off back to a pick note. Then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to go 9, 7, and 9. So a different low note. And we're going to pull that one off twice, and then we're going to come down here to the 10th fret, B string. we got that pinky underneath on that 10 after we bend it. Pull that off to the seven. So, so usually you'll have your finger positioning up in here, but then you got to know how far you got to go back to do a pull off. And that's going to go to that nine. Some tabs have it bending up a half step from that eight to the nine, but I think that'd be kind of a little bit difficult for most people. So you can kind of drop it, kind of just hit that nine because that's going to like a E chord, an E major chord at that point. So. So we got that bend. So pull off 7, 10, 9, and then we go 7 and 7. And bend that 10 way up. And see, that's two frets worth. That's a one step bend. So we got 7 and 7. So we got that bend up, and then we go back down to a normal 10. We bend from up to down. So we do that same bending up on the 10 on the second string. 10 below it, coming down to the 8 this time. So. And then we're going to bend this 9 on the G string to the little 10. So that's a 9 to 7 to 9 on the D string. We have a little 7, 6, 7. So we got. And we got. So that's me hammer on 7 to 9 on the G to a little half step thing on the second string. So you're, you're just trying to get the sound of the eight on that one. So we got half step bends, whole step bends, one and a half step bends, all in this solo, right? So pretty cool. So that whole thing kind of slow. You know, we got seven to nine on the G string. They were just doing this little half step bend on that seven on the second string. Then we're going to go. So we're bending the nine on the G. 7 to 10 on the B. And then the next time, we're doing that old rock and roll thing where we got that 9, 7, 7. So, so one more time on that one. And then we go. 
Two more of these. And then we start going. So we get into that full rock and roll thing. So let's look at all this again. time and then doubles twice and then, then we're going to come up here to a one and a half step bend on this 11 on the G string so that was bending the 11 and then 9 11 7 to the 9 on the D string and you can do a little bend on that a little bluesy thing so at that point, we're bending the 10 on the B string up to the a little 7 on the E. So we got, then we got a little pull off, 10 to 12, little 10, chromatic, we got 12, 11, 10, and 9 on the B string. Sliding into the 12 and the B. A little 10, 12, 11, 10, 9. So I'll do this one like this. Like I'll bend that 14 on the G. A little 12 on the same note basically as the one you have bent. 12 to 15. And then you got your 17 and 15 up in here. So you got. So you have that little one underneath again. Da -de -da. And then we got. So we're gonna have this bending on the 17th fret of the second string. And then you do that chromatic thing, 14, 15, 16, and that 17, you're bending that one up. So I recommend that maybe the pinky on that one because you gotta use all those fingers in a row. You could still do it with the, this one, but you know, you might want to. So that whole thing ends with. And see that 17, 14, 15, 16. Bend that 17 up, and then you're back. High 17 going up. So a lot of this, that's a great position for pentatonic minor if you don't use that one too much. Say everybody's over here in this. But if you know where that B is with your middle finger on the third string, it's a very good position to work out of. 